Welcome to the beer review of me, Jake. So today we're looking at a beer from Beaver Town, brewed in collaboration with Clemson's and Sons. It is their espresso coffee stout coming in at 6%. Now I was cruising the aisles of Waitrose, specifically the beer aisle, and this one jumped out at me because the last time I had espresso from Beaver Town, it was years ago, and it was a big old imperial stout and it was really good. It was probably one of the best beers Beaver Town ever produced. It was great. And then now they've nerfed it to a measly 6%. Still a coffee stout. I just, had, I just had to give it a go and see what they've done to this beer. Yeah, you can go back and watch uh, that original espresso review. I sort of look like this, but younger, really. Onto the nose, shall we? Give a swell break through that head a little bit. Turn turned to a wolf. Oh, that was a bit tricky to open that can. A very dark brown when you hold the light up to it, which is disconcerting. And a slightly beige looking head. Looks a lot darker on the screen, but it's, it's lighter in real life. Let's go for a little taste. Uh, no, a sniff at first, as is the way. Hmm. It's got lactose in it. It's giving me milky coffee vibes. Also a little bit of milk chocolate, milk heavy. Yeah, it's sort of, yeah, it's very much cheap, instant coffee and milk. Something a little bit sort of ashy in there as well, but more like cigarette ash. Weird smelling beer. I've sort of got to get the bias out of my head here because I think I've already sort of put this beer down before I even tried it. So let, let's give it a fair shake. Cheers or a fair swirl. Hmm. It's drinkable. A fairly weak coffee flavour. What's it said? Is there any spiel on here? Coffee stout using midnight oil by Clemson and Sons. I don't know what that is. But that's about it, really. Yeah, there is more of a, a, a coffee flavour aftertaste, I suppose. The beer itself is a bit insipid, a bit forgettable. I mean, I'll finish the can, but in the same way I'd finish a can of, of, of Guinness or something like that. It's not offensive. It's not bad, but it's definitely not good. So not great. I don't know why they even called this espresso. Why trade off? It, I mean, it, it's not like it was the most well-known beer from Beaver Town. So why didn't they just do a, a coffee stout, but give it a different name? Or maybe a lot of people who's drinking that now don't even know what the original espresso was. And they just thought, oh, coffee and a beer. Let's just call it espresso. Well, bloody hell used to be good and they killed that. Espresso used to be good and they firmly killed that. Just seems to be Beaver Town's prerogative nowadays. Just shift that neck oil, boy. That's all they want to do. So anyway, that was everything from Beaver Town espresso. You can buy it if you want. I wouldn't recommend it. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.